Jonathan, I'm going to throw it over to you to uh, give us sort of, uh, you know, uh, a top line looking back. I know ServiceNow has been uh, implementing all kinds of fantastic capabilities across the federal sector. Give us a highlight. Well, thanks, Luke. You're right. Um, ServiceNow is working across the federal government doing uh, various kinds of digital transformation projects. We were working at over 350 uh, different government organiz- federal government organizations at this point on, you know, really complex topics around homeland security and immigration, healthcare, finance. We do a lot of case management work. Um, our low code platform has really taken off dur- during this past year. Uh, there's there's a particular project that I want to I want to talk about for a couple of minutes. Uh, something that we worked on with the office of the inspector general at HHS over over the past year. Um, HHS is OIG is the largest OIG in the in the government. They published uh, 150 reports last fiscal year. They have uh, 1,400 plus open recommendations uh, looking at the various HHS programs like Medicare and Medicaid and work at FDA and NIH. So it's a really complex organization and they want to increase the transparency and, and uh, make sure that the impact of their work is really well known. And one of the ways they do that is by publishing reports and evaluations. And then out of those reports and evaluations come recommendations. Those recommendations have a lot of great, um, uh, information for the HHS operating divisions to take and apply into their into their processes and in how they run their programs. Now, this was a very manual process. Uh, all of us have probably worked with OIGs in the past, and there was a very email spreadsheet driven kind of approach to managing this information, responding to um, recommendations. So they, um, the HHS OIG office used ServiceNow to digitize this, this process and their legacy technologies that they used were disconnected. They were from the uh, early, uh, you know, two thousands and it was a very, um, uh, siloed approach. So, you know, we, we have a lot of, uh, activity, uh, ServiceNow does at HHS. And we did something like this with CMS in the past and HHS OIG was able to build on top of that to take advantage of ServiceNow's low code platform to digitize their processes across the entirety of the, of the organization. And while the technology isn't necessarily the hard part in some of these projects, we can all acquire these, these tools and, and build them the right way. It's really thinking through, how the work and the data flows for these different business processes that um, HHS had. And as they you know, reevaluated and redesigned some of these things and, and did the right change management, they were able to come up with a really elegant solution for agencies to respond to recommendations. So getting rid of cutting and pasting uh, from one system into another that the, the quote unquote swivel chair interface is, is going away. And um, they're able to use all of the data they have now on the ServiceNow platform to create dashboards that make it very easy for OIG leadership, for the department, operating divisions to understand the current status of of their work, how many open recommendations there are, how many recommendations they have by operating division, so on and so forth. So you can really become very focused and you can understand where the risk is in in the organization. They very nicely uh, integrated. Uh, We will help them integrate this application with login.gov. So it has, it's accessible by the whole of the department. Of course, we separate the data appropriately, but there's, um, there's a new way of doing work uh, around these really critical business processes the OIG runs because of because of ServiceNow, and we're really proud of this work. And it's it's an example that I know other offices of the Inspector General are are looking at and, and perhaps want to follow. And you know, really, if we can do anything, if we look back at anything on this project by making this information available, and eventually. Uh, integrating it with oversight.gov, which tracks OIG activities across government and being able to eventually make this information appropriately uh, available to uh, to the public. You know, we're increasing the transparency, we're increasing across government uh, and to the public, and we're really building trust. And when we can use our technologies to make data more accessible, we've already heard that a little bit here today, and we're able to make good decisions based on that data, you know, we're building a better government. And, you know, I'm really so, absolutely. It's a one-win-win kind of opportunity. Absolutely. 